Jeff Ballmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine. I'm really excited to introduce our brand new product, Ahi Flower. It's a Veg Pro Omega. What does that mean? Well, there are two basic omega 3s, DHA and EPA. Why are they important? Well, they have different benefits. Most people take DHA for brain health, a lot of people take EPA for heart health. But what is the heart? The heart's a big old muscle. And that's exactly what it helps with. Now there's a really cool study that showed why EPA is so important for all muscle, not just the heart. And that's because EPA showed to increase muscle protein synthesis by 25%. Not only that, it helped decrease muscle breakdown or muscle loss by 22%. Whoa! That makes it one of the most exciting supplements for athletes, for performance, for people trying to gain muscle, or even for competitive athletes to get on stage. Now, where does that EPA come from? Well, the most popular source of EPA is fish oil. But as the WWF just reported recently, up to 50% of the entire ocean's population of fish is gone. What makes it scarier is when they actually looked at just the 29% of the fish that humans eat, almost 90% of those fishes are gone. And you think, okay, that's all right, I use salmon oil. Well, they looked at that too as well and found 76% of the natural fish in freshwater gone. We cannot continue to do this. We simply cannot. Now, you could say, well, they're scaling back. Well, a new study found that 37% of the companies out there getting their fish oil are overfishing and breaking the law. They are not compliant. So what's going to happen? Stricter enforcement, and that's going to cause fish oil prices to shoot through the roof. So there's got to be a different alternative. We need a plant-based, ecological source of EPA. So as exciting as EPA is for health, for nutrition, and for athletes, we need a plant source EPA. Now, there are two different omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA. So why EPA and not DHA? Well, here's another study. This is breakthrough. So it used to be thought that uh, ALA, which is the precursor to DHA, um, does not convert very well to EPA or DHA. Now, it does have a lower conversion rate, but when they looked at vegans in the study, vegans and vegetarians, as well as fish eaters, they found something pretty amazing. They found that DHA levels in vegans was actually higher than those who ate fish or took fish oil supplements. Now, how is that possible when they thought the conversion rate was so poor? Here's why. When the body takes in ALA, it increases an enzyme that does the conversion. But if the body sees a source of DHA already in the digestive enzyme, it says, I don't need to produce that enzyme. And therefore, shutting down that enzyme makes the ALA found in plant sources like flax or chia or ahi flour not convert very well because it suppresses the enzyme. It says, look, you don't need that enzyme. You're already getting DHA from an external source. So by taking DHA as eating fish, or even taking a fish oil supplement, or even an algae supplement that has DHA in it, you will actually tell the body that it doesn't need to produce the enzyme that converts the ALA, the much more common fatty acid that we're intaking in our diets. So this is telling vegans out there, you should actually not take DHA as a supplement. Instead, you should probably be focusing on the ALA part of it. So that's great. So the DHA is not an issue for vegans, vegetarians, or even people that are omnivores. You're getting your source of DHA from any one of those sources. The big problem is the EPA. Up until recently, there wasn't really a great source of EPA. And here's why. It's another uh, omega called SDA, or stereodonic acid. 
Stereodonic acid is more direct precursor to EPA. Now, EPA is what you want a result of, but if you start out with ALA, then convert to SDA to get to EPA, it's a longer process and much more efficient if you can start out with the SDA. Here's the rub. Plant sources are not very high in SDA until now. That's where ahi flour comes in. Ahi flour is the highest known source of SDA on the planet from any single non-GMO plant source. That's incredible. Number one in the category, and that's why we're so excited to bring this to you. SDA is far more um, bioavailable at converting to EPA than any other um, source. How much more? Well, in a human study, when they actually can, uh, compared flax to ahi flour, ahi flour actually increased cellular levels of EPA, that's inside the cells, the most important part, actually increased that 400% more effectively than flax. Flax, the most popular plant omega out on the marketplace, and this beats it by a four times multiple. That's amazing. That's not a breakthrough. That's setting a whole new paradigm. This is an incredible, incredible product. Now, is it eco-friendly? Yes. It's grown in the UK and brought, and brought to the United States. It's Crop Assured 365, which means it's traceable from the soil to the oil. Not only that, just to give you com some comparison, just one acre of ahi flour can yield the equivalent of 80,000 sardines. Now you have it. You have something that's good for the environment, it's green, it's ecological, and it's safe. How safe? Generally regarded as safe. That's the highest safety rating for any supplement you can get. Ecological, great for athletes, green, safe, and effective. Check for more information on cleanmachineonline.com and there are tons of other health benefits you can find out both on our site and you can go to ahiflower.com too, which is Nature's Crops, the supplier of the ingredient for us. They've got a ton of information for you to read about this amazing new ingredient. So what are some of those other health benefits? Well, it's actually a good source of GLA, not present in fish oil. And it also has what most uh, nutritionists call the ideal ratio of a 4 to 1 omega-3 to 6. It's a complete omega-3, 6, 9 with GLA, making it one of the most healthy, balanced omega-3s on the market. We're very excited to be the very first sports nutrition company ever to launch Ahi Flower. This is what the rest of the industry is saying about Ahi Flower. At Supply Side West 2015, the industry's gathering point where science and strategy intersect. We're looking for the best in class natural health product ingredients that show for the best science, safety, and efficacy. This year, we're looking for the game changers. Our whole business is from soil to oil, and we grow the crop, we, we grow it under very demanding standards, we only put on the crop what we want, so we know exactly how that crop was produced, and if you want something that is completely authentic, this is it.